think she's getting close to today. Merry Christmas from Florida. I'm finally back at home and it's just so refreshing to be away from the city and just kind of be in the suburbs again. I feel like I'm used this time to spend time with my family, recharge mentally, physically, emotionally. It's gonna be nice to just not be working. I feel like I've been working nonstop. I've had zero breaks, very little breaks, and I'm kind of over it. I'm just ready to not be an adult. <laughs> I wanna take a break from being an adult and I just wanna be a daughter again, a sister, and just chill. House tour. So this is my parents' room. And then this is my sister Erin. She's almost 20 years old. She's in college and she's about to get engaged soon. Her boyfriend is actually coming out to spend time with us during New Year's. So we'll meet him there. We've never met him. His name's Wade Withers and that's like all I know. And I know that he loves her very much. Oh, and this is my hot mom. Hold on. That's where I get my good looks from, my mom. And then this is my dad. I'm filming a vlog. That's where I get my brains from. And this is my sister and she's the best room in this house. I personally think because she's so cool. Maya <laughs> is my last sister. And she's a little bit You know what? Just kidding, she's pretty great. She's my friend, my sister, my social media manager. I don't pay her very much every month. Don't pay at all. <laughs> Just kidding. She's the one that was like, you should have a YouTube channel. So because of her, I have this YouTube channel. So thank her. One day she's gonna be big though. She's either gonna work. Her plans are to be a graphic designer or a, or what else? A graphic designer. She wants to go to college in Georgia. We're just in the city. Got my family to one of the restaurants that is uh, that my company's over, Big Buns. Um, because technically I have to do a little bit of work today. I have to take some photos of some products, oh, some okay. items. Um, but anyways, this is the spread, the dinner spread that we're having. And we got it for free. So nice in my box. Daddy, what do you think of the food? It's disgusting, leave alone. <laughs> My dad got a key lime milkshake. I was really excited for him to come because I wanted him to try that milkshake. Erin, your thoughts? Very good. I'm very surprised. Kathy, not on, not on her phone, I tried not yet. actually eating the food. Got a kid's burger with a strawberry milkshake. Maya, thoughts on your chicken sandwich? I haven't had it yet. She hasn't had any We yet. spent the rest of the night wandering around the city and I just have to say I'm so grateful for the warm Florida weather right now because it's freezing in DC and I honestly prefer a tropical Christmas over a white Christmas. Sister sleepover night, we're getting all the goods. Cause this is Maya's favorite store because everything's cheap. That's not true. Where are we, Maya? Five below. Aaron? Five below. And look at all the candy options. I'm obsessed with candy, so this is like I'm in heaven. Look, there's even pizza gummies, um noodles in a box gummies. Like look at that. That's so cool. There's mac and cheese. Look at this. Sour belts? Maya knows what's up. Those are my favorite. Yeah, I know. Maya recently introduced me to slime and now I'm like obsessed. I had no idea what slime was. Nor have I ever played with slime until like yesterday. I'm in my slime era now. Slime era. So Maya, pick out a slime it's for me. So Normally how these sleepovers work, we get a bunch of goodies. That means snacks and games and other random-ish. And this time around we bought some eye masks like for under her eye because Maya says mm -hmm. that she has face masks that we can use. <laughs> oh, why are you laughing? <laughs> Guys, this sour candy is the most sour candy I've ever had in my entire life. Like my pores are sweating. I'll show you. There's my so you want a more of a church. <laughs> Blumhouse production, that means that that's good. Oh gosh. Mm. That's sour. This is so sour. The smell of it. Did I not just say? So we're gonna put scent into it. Maya thinks the slime is stinky, so she wants to add a scent into it. But how does it feel? Wet. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so mad. If someone did this at the wedding, you'd be pissed? No, at my wedding. Like, at my specific wedding, like, ruin the, in the, in the ceremony scene. Oh, good to know. 
I got a blue. What did Meredith do to, her, do to Michael after accepting her Dundee for the best mother? Kissed him, punched him in the face, flashed him. Flash him? No. Which season was Kevin's favorite? What are the options? Oh, right. Okay. Which season was Kevin's favorite? Sister, come here. Do you like my shirt? Maya gave it to me. Bob's purse. I know you seem to drink water because of the straw. The straw makes it more in, like, caffeinated. Oh, I know. It's, that straw is so good. Do you want your own Stanley? Uh, Emily Kaiser has tons of Stanleys. The girl you follow on TikTok. Oh, good. Oh, you're icing your foot in the chocolate packer into the Stanley. Come here. Okay, how do I put these on? There we go. You did it. I look like a founding okay, father so with this hair. He's in the house with ass. Damn, attitude during our girls' night tonight. Ow! Oh! We started this new game and Maya got the card of do the worm. So she's gonna do the worm on my dog on the dog's bed. No less. Wait, how do you do it? It's like the you throw your body up like that. <laughs> oh no! My card is smell someone else's armpit or I lose the card. So you gotta get a good whiff. You gotta get in there, bro. I think I shaved. <laughs> get closer. You gotta get in there. You have to kiss it. Get in there! <laughs> it actually didn't smell bad. Noche Buena or Christmas Eve is a huge thing in my family. We play games, wrap gifts, and just get ready for the festivities for the night. Once the whole gang arrives, we eat dinner, and then somebody, normally my sister, prepares their Christmas message for the evening where we sing, we laugh, we cry, and just listen to stories about Jesus. We always try to open one gift at midnight, but what usually happens is that we end up opening all of them. Tonight, he clearly fell asleep. Opening gifts on Christmas Eve night is not his cup of tea, I guess. The next day, we went to church for Christmas. We came home, took naps, and went to Santa's Enchanted Forest. It was surprisingly freezing on Christmas Day for like being in Florida, and I don't know if it was the cold or just going on a ton of roller coasters within an hour, but I started to feel so sick. We finally met my sister's boyfriend, hallelujah. We haven't been able to meet him because they're all the way in Idaho for school and no offense, there's no reason to go out to Potato Land. So we just waited for him to come to us. Tell us a little about yourself. Oh my God. This is going on my vlog, don't worry. I only have 200 subscribers. Yeah. Okay, I better be good though. I don't know, what do you want to know? Uh, age, where are you from, and what do you love about Aaron? Oh. <laughs> I'm 22, I'm from Blackfoot, Idaho. I love Aaron's smile. Aww, tender. <laughs> he was so kind and our family instantly fell in love with him because of the way he treated Aaron. I mean, he was even like serenading her. In a few hours, Aaron's gonna be 20 years old. Yeah. How does it feel to almost be 20? Um, feels pretty like, I don't know, the same. <laughs> And Aaron's almost fiance is here. Are you happy about him being here? I am. I don't know if he's my almost fiance. Let's see if he's gonna do it or not. Got my nails done though. Just just in case he does. Let's see those nails. <laughs> so pretty. T minus four hours until the new year. Right now the boys, meaning my dad and Sam, are watching the game. Um, everyone else is getting ready for dinner. Uh, we're about to eat our classics. Tortillas de papa, an Ecuadorian tradition with some sausage and salad. It's looking really good. And then we are gonna do some dancing. Everyone is ready to dance. We've already been pre-gaming with the dancing, but we're gonna go hard tonight at 12. My aunt. Well, hey, tell us, tell them about the grapes. Why do we eat the 12 grapes before um, 12 o'clock? Wishing, making 12 wishes of things you wish next year. 12 things, so think smart. <laughs> To kill some time until the new year, we played spoons. This game gets kind of ugly in my family. We get really aggressive with those spoons. Like, I've almost seen nails being yanked off. Are you kidding me? We're eating all our grapes. 
12th grade, Sam's not participating. Wait, this is delayed. This is delayed. Sam's not participating. But I believe in getting good wishes. I'm watching my wishes come true this year. I wish that we can move into a new apartment that's nice and affordable. I can get a new job and get a $15,000 raise. And I wish to make one good friend this year. Football. You and all can watch football this entire time. Five, four, three, two, one. For a family that doesn't drink, we go really hard at our parties. Happy 2023. Today's the first day of the new year, but also it's my sister Erin's birthday. She turned 20 today and I think she's getting proposed to today. Okay, not I think, I know. I know he's proposing to her because he's been talking to me about it these past few days. And it's cute because he's thinking of proposing to her on the beach, which is the same way my dad proposed to my mom um, all those years ago. So I think that's super cute. And we're gonna help out with the proposal. So we're all planning on going to the beach as a family together. And then he's gonna kind of like, they're gonna go on like a cute little walk. Um, and meanwhile, like the whole family, we're gonna get a little picnic going on the beach. It also had the idea of putting this sweet little letter inside a glass bottle and place the bottle near the picnic site. And they come back from the little walk. He's gonna act kind of like, oh, what is this bottle on this picnic? And then she'll be like, what? Well, she's gonna pick up the bottle, hopefully, and find this letter inside the bottle. And he's already written like this long letter, just talking about how much he loves her and how he wants to be with her for the rest of his life. After she's done reading that, that'll be like the cue, the signal for him to get down on his knee and to propose. And then me and my mom are gonna be there taking photos and videos. And of course I'm gonna be vlogging that. And then the family will be hiding during this time. And then they'll come out and surprise her. Erin's getting in the car with her friends right now. She has no idea what's about to happen in the next hour. Wade is probably so nervous right now. I feel bad for him. Just kidding. Good luck, Wade. You only have one shot to propose, so you better do it well. The whole family's at the beach right now. We're setting up for Aaron's big moment. We found a little spot. We're making the picnic right now. Here's the bottle I talked about earlier that has the note of basically Wade professing his love to Aaron. And water's right there. And I can't wait to see how all of this unfolds. So I actually made a TikTok of Aaron's proposal, so let's watch that video instead. My sister's about to get engaged. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. My family is my whole world, and I'm so glad I was able to spend the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023 with them.